Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, a Catholic priest, led on a regular basis the largest Catholic charismatic healing meetings in the United States. He knew what was wrong with people, and then he had major miracles. I mean, major, such as incurable cancers, tumors literally falling off, blind eyes from birth recreated, and many other creative miracles. Then, suddenly, he left the Catholic Church. Next on It's Supernatural. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Well, Dr. Sizer, you were uh, a Catholic priest for about a year, and all of a sudden you got desperate for something more. That night when I was des in desperation and hungry for more, he came into my room and the presence of God entered into my body, into my spirit, and flooded my soul, and I wept, and I wept, and I wept, and I cried out loud that he has come. come. You've been here all this time, time, and I never, I never knew, really it. knew it. I never really knew it like I know it now, and I was saved. And then a few weeks later, he is a little nervous about something going on in the basement of his church. A little group of Catholic charismatics were meeting. So he decided he would investigate. Uh, a few weeks later, they're pr all praying for him for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. What happened? Well, I did go to that meeting that night, and they had asked me to give a little teaching, and they said, let the Spirit lead you, Father. I didn't understand what they meant by let the Spirit lead you, but anyway, I did my best. And I recall saying, well, I'll talk on creation because that sounds like a good topic. And they had me sit down. They didn't know what I was going to talk about, but they had me sit down in a circle and put all my books, my concordance, all the notes put aside, and they said, let's pray. And the leader said, I feel good tonight. Let's sing about the birds of the sky and the fishes of the sea. Let's sing about creation. Let's sing about creation. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your creation. Thank you, Father. Somebody read from the book of Genesis on creation. I said, that's interesting. And the earth was without form and void. Then somebody read Psalm 104, the creation psalm. And I really said, this is very interesting. established the earth upon its foundation. Somebody must be here. Finally, a man opened up his Bible and he read from the passage from Colossians 1.15, which was my text for the night. I jumped up out of my seat. I said, he is he here, is he is here. God is real. So they laid hands on you to be immersed in the Holy Spirit. Tell me what happened. The greatest night of my life, Sid, greatest night of my life. Three people said a very short prayer, began to pray in tongues. And with that, I began to shake. My body shook and shook and shook and shook with power and volts of electricity coursed through my body more and more and more and I couldn't stop it. I got so scared I yelled out, stop it, stop it, but it wouldn't stop. It went on for a whole hour. They got scared. They left me. They left me. <laughs> there I was. <laughs> 
I bounced onto the floor and I went into convulsions up and down, up and down, shaking with power. With that power came this liquid love of fire, went through my body and through my body, volts of love, volts of power, and God had baptized me with the fire, the real baptism of fire. That night, the Lord took me up to heaven. And when I went up to heaven, I was out of my body into another realm, into another place. And I heard for the first time, all my senses were amplified and made greater and greater. And the music I heard with the choirs of angels was something I wanted to stay with. I wanted to stay there. But I heard the voice, there's work to be done. And I was back in my body back in that church that night when I laid in the bed, the fire of God was on my hands and I couldn't wait to wake up the next day and try it out on somebody. (laughs) (laughs) But now this is so amazing to me. You know, in the Catholic Church, they confess to priests their sins. So the children, then that when they, way they would go, he was the most popular priest. Do you know why? They wanted to go to the priest that knew their sins before he told them. But the children, and would, the chil- would he actually fall over in the spirit? Is the, that true? The, the children, uh, Mother Superior brought them, brought the uh, classroom over. And so I was, I was uh, praying with the first one. And in those days, they, instead of going behind a screen, they would sit in a chair. I reached out my hand for the first one and boom, down she goes. I said, what was that? I picked her up. I put her over in the corner. I opened the door. I said, sister, send the next one in. This went on for six times. Boom. And you have to understand, I didn't know what slaying in the spirit was. (laughs) But I knew my hands were lethal. (laughs) You know, I want to know the first miracle that occurred with those lethal hands. Yeah. I used to go to to the hospital. I went into um, a a woman who, who was left for death. She was 85 pounds. Her name was Annie, and she had fourth uh, degree cancer or fourth level stage cancer. She was on morphine, and you, I walked into that room, Sid, and it reeked of cancer. The spirit of cancer, I don't know if the audience has ever uh, smelled what it, what it smells like. It was terrible. And she was dying. The spirit of death was there. So I cursed the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. I cast out the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. I took Anne by the hand, and the power of God went out of my right hand into her body. Her eyes popped open like with life again. And I said, get up in the name of Jesus. Take a walk with the man of God. And that's how that's how it started. Now, you think it's something when children fall over from the power of God coming (laughs) on them. Guess what happens when there is a seeing eye dog? Same thing with the dog. We'll be right back. Right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. Now return to It's Supernatural. So a woman comes to you, she's born blind, she has a seeing eye dog. What happened? As she made her way up, uh, nobody called her up. I was still in the middle of preaching at the time. But she came up with this German Shepherd seeing eye dog, and she, the, the dog had a harness on, and she was kind of holding on to the harness. And I got a little bit frightened when I saw the size of that dog. And so as she got about 15 or 20 feet away from me, the dog fell out under the power of God. 
And God showed me something interesting theologically that this lady, this lady used the dog as her eyesight, for her eyesight, that she had to let go of the dog before she could come to him empty handed. We must come to the Lord empty handed, without any crutches, without any kind of aids. Now, now you can understand why his meetings were really big. <laughs> uh, uh, these meetings, these healing meetings you had, uh, how many people would come to them? We had, um, uh, during uh, the nine years that I was doing them, 2,500 people each meeting, and buses would come in. People would wait two hours ahead of time just to get seats because they wanted to see what God was about to do. And then, minding his own business, he's at a meeting, and someone that walks up to him that he is convinced uh, is an angel and says a very strange thing to him. What? I was having lunch with uh, the head of the Full Gospel Businessmen International in Washington, D.C., and the men were trying to ask me, why are you a priest, or what is a priest? They were all Protestant backgrounds, mm -hmm. and it was unusual to have a saved Catholic priest with the gift of healing and the power of God in him. So I was doing a bad job explaining myself about priesthood. A lady came along and tapped me on the shoulder and whispered in my ear, the answer is in the curtain. Well, with that she was gone. Never saw her again, couldn't find her, looked for her everywhere, she disappeared, it was an angel. Demas Shakarian, who was sitting beside me said, oh, you need to go read about the curtain. Hebrews 10, 19, and it says there, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since you now have confidence to enter the Holy of Holies through the veil, which is his body, and through the blood, come forth into my chamber, it says, with confidence, because I am your God. Now I knew when I read that, that my priesthood days were over because Jesus, once for all, offered himself for us. There was no need for me to say mass anymore. There was, there was no reason for me to be an intermediary in a sacramental system, because people now, as they receive Christ, all become a priesthood of believers, and they all have access to God. We're all priests. Now, the criticism from religious people got more than he could tolerate. And he saw this, uh, he did, people didn't have to go to him to get to God. We already have a high priest, his name is Jesus. Amen. Much better than any human. And he saw these differences and he left the church. And he really stopped going even to church. He was burned out. And, and so he went back to college, he got his doctorate in psychology, and he opened up his own little shop. He got married to a woman, this is a story in itself, uh, she was a, a marvelous ballet dancer, and she went to Turkey with her, with her troupe, and she was captured and put into what's known as, I guess, called white slavery. White slavery. Uh, and she had how many tumors in her? She uh, came back from Turkey and her stomach was just ripped apart from dysentery and, and starvation. And she doctored uh, with the American doctors for, for about eight, eight months, nine months. Then she heard about a priest who had the gift of healing. And uh, that was me. And, so, <laughs> and that's how we met. Um, she had 11 bleeding ulcers. The doctors were ready to take 75% of her stomach out and cut it out because of all these ulcers. But we know a better way through, through Jesus. And I prayed with her, and she was pretty much on, on her deathbed. And the power of God went into her uh, stomach, and both of us knew she was healed. She made the doctor sign an agreement that he would not go ahead with the operation until he did another endoscopic exam and looked down her stomach, and he did. 
and he saw her stomach look like a newborn baby's pink, pink stomach. He came, he came out of the operating room and he shook my hand and he said, Father, what is your technique? What is your technique? Congratulations. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to have him pray for the fire to come on you when we come back. Interested? Call now and get Dr. Francis Sizer's brand new book, Power Encounters, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9587. Power Encounters will help you to begin to unlock the supernatural through experiences with the Holy Spirit. You will understand how miracles, signs, and wonders can be a part of your everyday life. In these pages, Dr. Sizer offers teaching that will empower you to position yourself for new dimensions of Holy Spirit encounters, draw near to God by functioning in your New Testament priestly identity, stand victoriously against the spiritual attacks of the enemy. You will also receive Dr. Sizer's anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This series includes the following teachings. CD number one, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You will understand the active role the Holy Spirit should play in your life. CD number two, Christian Healing. Dr. Sizer discusses healing from curses, the biblical roots of sickness, and the mind-body connection. CD number three, Deliverance Ministry. Dr. Sizer reveals how spiritual warfare operates, as well as giving you the battle strategies for victory. Dr. Sizer prays for you to receive greater discernment of God's presence in your life, to receive the anointing and power of healing, to bind demonic spirits and their power, to experience a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. The greatest outpouring of the Lord's power and might coming on the face of the entire planet Earth is about to take place. We've had reports already from those who have read the book and listened to the CDs of healings and miracles and signs and wonders even under the anointing of reading the book. Don't miss out on getting Dr. Francis Sizer's brand new book, Power Encounters, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9587. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9587 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Okay, so Dr. Francis is burned out, has a little shingle out, is a counselor, uh, doing just fine, and somehow... I don't know how. You end up in Toronto at the Toronto Airport Church and you get hit again <laughs> by the fire of God. What happened? Well, I walked into that, that huge room and I, there were like 5,500 people uh, in 1994 and, and uh, I saw people shaking and I said, you're back. You're back, Lord. <laughs> and so I was prayed for there, and the healing gift and fire returned to my hands in a powerful way once more. And I was just so happy to be back in ministry where I belong. You talk about power encounters. Uh, you talk about the fire of God. What do you mean by power encounters? It's living what you've been preaching the, your whole life, the supernatural life. It's above the natural life. It's unlike the natural life. You, the expectations of, of what we want in life is far higher, far greater. The fire is what brings the energy and the power and the glory. It is the fire of of God through your body. It's not you. It's the Holy Spirit. We need to get back to the baptism of the Holy Spirit and receive the fire. I want Jesus to be inside of you, the Messiah of Israel, the one Messiah for the whole world, just as he's inside uh, of Dr. Uh, Sizer. And repeat this prayer. 
mean it to the best of your ability. Dear God, Dear God I'm, a I'm a sinner. I'm so sorry. I believe the blood of Jesus washes away my sins, and I'm clean. Jesus, come inside of me. Take over my life. I make you Lord of my life. Amen. I want you to pray for two things. I want you to pray for those that are dry and hungry and thirsty for the fire. And then I want you to pray for healing as God directs you. I pray for all those who desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the fire of God, that it would fall upon you and ignite you in a way in which you know that it's a supernatural presence and power within you, that out of your belly will flow rivers of living water right now, that the Holy Spirit would captivate you and cause you to be on fire with your hands, to heal the sick, and even to raise the dead. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Yeshua's name, amen and amen. You prayed once for 33 for people, and 33 cataracts disappeared. Pray for cataracts and anything else that God directs right now. Father, I pray that people have new eyesight, that they would come to know the revelation of Jesus, that they would be able to see their, in their eyes a peeling back of old things, that they might see things in a new way. And with that, I pray for physical eyesight. I pray for cataracts in the name of Jesus. Loose them by the power of God. I pray that those blind devils never return. In Jesus' name, I pray that eyes be open from glaucoma, from blurry vision, from floaters that are in the eye, and yes, blindness. I pray also I see deformities being healed, deformities, twisted bodies, twisted spines, in the name of Jesus, all around the world, being healed in the name of Jesus, that you might go leaping and laughing for the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. I see the power in the anointing causing little babies with, who, are, who are on in incubators in hospitals being released from congestion and respiratory problems. I see it right now, a little baby that the Lord is going to release right now in the name of Jesus. For nothing is impossible with God. We thank you, God, for new mothers, for those with families, for those that are, that are uh, struggling, that they are not alone, that they are with Jesus Christ, that he will provide their needs, that he will provide all their needs according to his riches and glory. We thank you, Lord, for every good gift comes from you. And the people said, amen and amen. Dr. Francis Sizer, a Catholic priest, led on a regular basis the largest Catholic charismatic healing meetings in the nation. He knew what was wrong with people, and then they had major miracles, incurable cancers, tumors literally falling off, blind eyes from birth healed, and creative miracles. He is now sharing what God has revealed to him and helping others to begin to have Holy Spirit encounters for themselves. Call now and get Dr. Francis Sizer's brand new book, Power Encounters, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9587. 
Power Encounters will help you to begin to unlock the supernatural through experiences with the Holy Spirit. You will understand how miracles, signs, and wonders can be a part of your everyday life. In these pages, Dr. Sizer offers teaching that will empower you to position yourself for new dimensions of Holy Spirit encounters, draw near to God by functioning in your New Testament priestly identity, stand victoriously against the spiritual attacks of the enemy, partner with God in His plan for the end time Holy Spirit outpouring. You will also receive Dr. Sizer's anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This series includes the following teachings. CD number one, The Baptism of the Holy Spirit. You will understand the active role the Holy Spirit should play in your life. CD number two, Christian Healing. Dr. Sizer discusses healing from curses, the biblical roots of sickness, and the mind-body connection. CD number three, Deliverance Ministry. Dr. Sizer reveals how spiritual warfare operates as well as giving you the battle strategies for victory. Throughout the series, Dr. Sizer prays for you to receive greater discernment of God's presence in your life, to receive the anointing and power of healing, to bind demonic spirits and their power, to experience a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. The greatest outpouring of the Lord's power and might coming on the face of the entire planet Earth is about to take place. We've had reports already from those who have read the book and listened to the CDs of healings and miracles and signs and wonders even under the anointing of reading the book. Don't miss out on getting Dr. Francis Sizer's brand new book, Power Encounters, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Holy Spirit Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9587. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9587. Seven, or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm Perry Stone. I want you and your family to join me on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth as I share with you the secrets that I have learned after 42 years of ministry about the supernatural.